Hey, what's good guys? Welcome back to Tech Smart, and I'm here with basically the tech dad. You guys know him as Linus Sebastian, AKA Linus Tech Tips. And Linus had this crazy idea. So you might've seen, I mean, you just tell him the idea. This wasn't my idea, this, this was your idea. Basically. You came to me, you're like, oh Linus, I have no idea where we're gonna store all of our video footage. Whatever shall I do? So I went to Linus and was like, hey, I need a server because we're expanding a lot here. Allegedly, this has 140 terabytes in it. Is that right? Well, that's not actually in here now. This is just an empty box. <sighs> I haven't built anything ever. So we're about to build a fat server. Is this a NAS or a RAID? I'm a noob when it comes to this. So this is my first time. This is 140 terabytes of pre Precision manufactured electronics. That is the gas. Wow. Whoa. Oh, you got 12s. You're, I, you helped me set this up. I don't even know. This is the first time I've opened this box. No, Seagate hooked you the f up. That's 180 terabytes. So just to give you guys a background, I have never built anything technical. The channel might be called Tech Smart, but that is the complete opposite. So, I mean, the smart is with two T's. Okay, how do I do this? Go, oh, you're holding it wrong again. Okay, just here. Hold my hand. Hold there. Me. Hold yeah. my hand. I, I really do feel like your tech dad. Just, just stop. Stop. You're killing me. No! Don't move that hand! No! Don't move my hand! So, so they're, they're rated for use all together. So even when they're like okay. vibrating next to each other, that's cool, that's safe. Okay. Um, and perhaps most importantly, they have included data recovery service. Ooh, so if one of these fails, I mail it in and they'll help it out? And as long as it is recoverable, they will okay. do their best within reason. Have you been careful with this for the last few months? Because they knew who they were sending it to. Handle with care, please. Two exclamation marks right there. Two T's, two exclamation marks? It makes sense. Wow, 45 drives, I only count 15. What's up with that, Linus? Because their original enclosure was all about 45 you... drives in a 4U chassis. Now they have models with 15, 30, 60. Take your yep. time. Oh wait, do you want me to put the box ah! back up? You want to put the box no, up? get out of the Do you even have a screwdriver? Yes, of course. Phillips, flathead, what do you need? <laughs> Phillips. See how quick that works? See how he doesn't know that computers oh, don't use flatheads? Flathead. He, he doesn't have one. Do you have the screwdriver oh, yet? Do you need Phillips or flathead? I forgot. Phillips! <laughs> Whoever edits this, you gotta leave that in uncut so people know just how short the period of time in between me telling him what screwdriver he needs and him forgetting what it All was. All right, I got the flathead for you, Bob. So Here first step is you're going to take off those six screws. Do you remember where they are? Come on, Dad, don't embarrass me like this in front of my, in front of my audience, man. I don't think anyone could embarrass you in front of your audience more than you've embarrassed yourself in front of your audience. All right, let's open this up, Tech Quickie. So just like a normal computer, it's got okay. a CPU. Yep. Uh, but it's a Xeon yep. instead of a Core i5 or a Core i7. Server oriented. Yeah, basically the same damn thing though, but more expensive. Then you got RAM. How, how much RAM is this and why don't we have all these filled up? This is eight gigs of RAM. And the reason we don't have it all filled up is that this is just a storage machine. Okay. And it just doesn't really need it. Gotcha. And if it looks like I'm sweating, I'm just nervous to be around dad. I haven't seen him in a few years, so it's a little toasty in here too, so. Make me very <laughs> uncomfortable. Uh, this is a power supply. Nice. So this supplies the power, okay? That's what it means. Right? Then right here, we've got an SSD. We will probably not end up using this one. Okay. I think you and I are probably gonna run down to fries. This right here mm -hmm. is just a USB drive. Okay. Yeah, so this is actually gonna hold our operating system. Like, you, you don't boot off a hard drive. Yeah. We're actually gonna boot up off this. What else we got in here that's new? Or these that cables I need to know? and these cables and all these cables. These are for the metric whack ton of drives. This is the Storinator AD15. So all your drives are gonna go shoop, 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 all the way across here, and this thing's gonna get real heavy real fast. Okay. So we're gonna have 180 terabytes of raw storage, but using Unraid, we actually lose the capacity of one of them. So right. we're gonna have 168 usable, but what that means is that extra one is doing what's called parity. So parity means that any one of these drives can outright fail, burst into flames, so you would actually not even notice. You could have your machine running the whole time, you could have all your oh. stuff safely backed up, away from, you know, Mother Google, no monthly fees, Wow. No BS, no nothing. Everything here belongs to you. So Linus, now that we got basically everything out of the box, some stuff still in the box, what do we do now? There's not actually a lot of assembly required. So all we gotta do is take all those drives and put them in here. Do you guys have knives? 
We don't have those in the states. You guys, that's a can that's a Canadian only product. Yeah. We just have guns. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, so the way to tell how this goes in is you got the connector. See, yep. it's kind of on off to the side. Yep. I'm so happy you came, you came, Linus. It makes me feel so good just knowing I get the time that we once had growing up. You know, makes him feel so good knowing that I came. So he's a pleaser. That's good. That's, that's how I brought you up. Who is the funniest out of everyone else in Who's tech? Who's the funniest in tech? Wow. Tech people aren't really known for their funny. Tech funny over here, bro, with two Ys. I don't know about that. You're not really in tech. Oh, can we get the foghorns going? Ew, no, 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 no. Just, just stop. Stop. You're killing me. Wow. Look at that. This is really sweet. So you've done this before with MKBHD, I Justine, maybe yep. there's some others. Austin. Austin 2 has. No, no, that... Austin 1, the first Austin. Oh. All right, Dad, so what is next? So now all we gotta do is connect it to your network. So we need your network switch. So yeah, what is that? Just, just stop, stop, you're killing me. All right, our network switch is way over there. So we're gonna head to Fry's, which is gonna be so awesome. And uh, go grab a really long cable. So Cat6, yeah, sure. I don't know, we getting like a Siamese cable? What kind of what, what kind of cat? You can pick whatever color you it's want. It's adoption. I want to get black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> Do you know Wiz Khalifa? That may ring a bell. I love, I love it. It's funny because like, I think you're an idiot when it comes to oh, tech. Thanks. And then you think I'm an idiot when it comes to like, stuff anything cool. Anything pop culture, yeah. cool. I mean, like, I'm the definition of cool. This is the aisle I've never been down because I get always so scared and self-conscious that daddy's going to hit me if I buy the wrong thing. I'm the definition of cool. So you still are going to need cash drives. Okay. But they don't have to be as big. I'm broke though, bro. I can't yeah. afford the cash. Yes, again. So they, they don't need to be as big because what the cash drive does do is it lets you copy files onto it a lot faster. So the cash lets you write to it fast and then it sits on the cash and then overnight it'll flush it to the hard drives. What this is, is this has eight gigabit ports mm -hmm. and two 10 gig ports. So what this would allow you to do is have an ingest station that has a fast link to yeah. the NAS. So when you're copying things over, you can copy it like 200, 300 megabytes a second. Marquez didn't do this and emailed me the other week and was like, hey, so I'm when you're in town. To, I, <laughs> I, think I, I think I probably should have done the SSDs. Thank you, Marquez. I'm not making that mistake. Okay. What I'd really like to do is go with 860 Pros. Okay. And we need two. Want to do a haul video? Let's do a haul video! Yeah. Haul. So we got... Don't dump it out on this. Yeah, it's... okay, so we got our 10 gig switch. A little more emotion and excitement. Hold it up to the camera, do the hand. They have hard time, the cameras have hard times focusing. They have to do it with their hand, so it grabs the focus. They're like, so this brush here looks really nice. Another ethernet cable. That's your girl voice. And then we've got a couple one terabyte SSDs that we're gonna use for a data cache. We also lost the screws. They gotta be somewhere. We they probably have, have it on camera where we put Can someone just, you know what, let's just stop it and we'll go back and we'll find them. I feel like I'm in NASCAR right now doing a pit stop change. Do you have a knife? That's a tough sticker. Screwdriver. Okay, wait, well, I mean, if you, if you were gonna open it like that, I could have done that. <laughs> Fine, you know, like, I mean, why even? There. Okay, so yep. I'm gonna hold this for you. Cool. Take out one of these screws. So we're doing a little trick where SSDs have no moving parts, so they don't really need to be held in that well. So we're taking the screws from one and we're using it for two. Someone at home is gonna try to build their own NAS and it's gonna catch on fire just because of this one thing. Your ratchet is going the wrong way. Are you not noticing this is a ratcheting screw? See, ratchet in my generation, Linus, that means a whole different thing. Do you need me to show you how to use it? Uh, maybe. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna take out the other HP one. You yeah, know. I want to do the second All clip. Right, you you know me. One. I want to do it. I want to feel like I'm contributing. Here's our data cable. I'll let you do the other one. Are you sure you're putting it on the right way? I am a little scared. Okay, not going to lie. It's keyed. There's an L. Yeah, see. right there. Yeah. I still can't see what you're doing, so I'm just worried. Get, you got to trust me, Dad. It's been 21 years. Oh, I don't want to disappoint you and Mom. No. And it's a really fragile connector. You shouldn't need to wiggle it. Don't want to do it for your country. Do it for your country. All right. I tried. Can, can I see? Can I oh. Okay, it's on. Did it with one hand. Do you want to close your eyes too on this next one? I could. Our cache is installed. Nice. We got that cache. That's, you can say that, right? Is that what the kids say? Sh Open that. Sweet. You're making this so hard. I didn't know you were that into tech. Whoa. Dude, I'm just fiending for the gear. So we gotta go put this next to your wireless router. Okay. And plug it into the wall. Uh, and also you need to plug this into, into one of the network's ports on the wireless router. So guess what you get to do now? 
call the number and say we need help? No, <laughs> you have to turn it on. Here goes the switch, Ev. You ready? You cutting this? You getting this? Big moment, big moment. Big moment, you gotta press the power button. I hit the power button back Yeah, here. that's for the power supply. See, this is why I need the help. You turned it off. You No, you turned the power supply off. Bro. It was on out of the box. No, it's see. not. It, now it says it's on. Oh, well, it's not plugged in. Oh. So, who's editing this? <coughs> How much do I have to pay you under the table to make sure that all the embarrassing stuff- Oh, it's gonna be in there. Makes oh. it in. It's on, because I plugged it in, and that would mean it's on, because I plugged it in. <laughs> do you see a green light on the motherboard? It's on. There's a blue light. Oh! All right, so I'm on the same network, so theoretically, all I have to do is type in http colon slash slash tower. Amazing! So that is Unraid Server Pro. This is the coolest thing I've seen in a long time because I've never really ventured down the technical path of tech. So uh, okay. what are you tweaking? This setting right here lets you decide between higher performance with more wear on your drives. Okay. Or lower performance with lower power consumption and less wear on your drives. If I choose the option where it's more stress and also higher performance, is that gonna compromise? It's I mean, it's probably fine. So you want the higher performance one? Yeah. Okay, this is really important. What do you wanna call it? I'm thinking tower? Call it Nas. We got some pop culture work to work we on. We have with. nothing in common, you and I. Linus, I paid you to be here. I paid you to be here to <laughs> no, take the money. No, you didn't. You didn't pay nothing. We've got two parity drives. Okay. We've got 13 storage drives. We've got two cache drives and we're ready to click start. You wanna do the honors? Can you find the click on a PC? I don't think I'm ready. Let's just power it down. All right, here we go. The big moment. All right, give it a minute. It's got to spin all this stuff up. Well, here's the thing. So, did you know solid state traps, they don't have anything to spin? He hits me so much. This yellow thing here, parity is invalid. That's because it actually needs to build, build it. that data set. So it's just it. checking. It doesn't need any data from like me or any media. No, in fact, you could even use it right now. Okay, so you can see right here, we have unmountable disks. All of them, because they're firing up. Yep, we got to format them. It'll actually take a couple days. Oh, because you had so much storage. 156 usable terabytes is what we ended up with after some formatting yeah, two overhead parodies. and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. two parity drives. Now we've got a bunch of raw storage sitting here, okay. accessible over the network. Next stage is we gotta create some shares. So basically what I'm setting up right now is so all of your stuff that doesn't have to be high performance is just going straight to the hard drives and not even bothering your SSDs. And then we could find some file Let's go see what Linus has downloaded lately. Here's an Oppo Find 10 first look. So just straight dragging it from anywhere on the laptop. And now we are playing that off the NAS right now. For some reason it's derping. There we go. And to the NAS's credit, it just was built and it's still building itself. So that's it? What, we're done? Fun time's over? That's it? I never knew what all this was. This is my first time honestly building anything. Well, we're gonna put this back together, but thank you so much, Linus, Seagate, Unraid, as well as 45, 45 drives. drives. <laughs> so that's it for this video. Make sure to check out the video we did on Linus's channel in the description, that room tour. They ain't ready for it. And you can check out more of Linus's stuff, link down below, like social media, his favorite. Yeah. All right guys, see you later.